In this demonstration, you'll learn how TurboGrid can be used to mesh a turbofan that has a meridional splitter. I'll also show you how to position a domain interface, how to add tip clearance, how to include or exclude a domain, and how to refine the mesh. Meshing a meridional splitter in TurboGrid is advantageous as it allows for the creation of a complete topologically conformal mesh using a single meshing tool. Producing a high quality mesh of a meridional splitter can be a crucial step in determining the correct flow split between the core and the bypass. First, I'll load a blade geometry that has been produced using CAD software such as Blade Modeler or Design Modeler. I can position the inlet domain interface by adjusting the hub and shroud control points. I'll set the hub and shroud parametric locations to 15% of the distance between the leading edge and the inlet. In this demonstration, I'll choose to exclude the inlet domain from the mesh so that the inlet domain interface that was just adjusted will become the upstream end of the mesh. For the outlet domain, I'll select the meridional splitter option and specify the curve file that defines the splitter geometry. In the curve file, an ordered list of Cartesian coordinates defines the meridional splitter in the axial radial plane. The splitter geometry appears in its defined location. I'll specify a 3mm tip clearance at the shroud. With the geometry defined, it is time to enable the generation of the mesh topology. In the mesh data object, I'll leave out the inlet domain. The inlet domain interface that I had adjusted earlier will therefore become the upstream end of the mesh. I'll keep the outlet domain selected so that the surface of the meridional splitter is included in the mesh. Now I'll generate the mesh. For inspection purposes, I need to make some components visible. As you can see, the meridional splitter has been meshed. I can make adjustments to the mesh using the mesh data settings. For example, I can refine the mesh near the hub and shroud by increasing the passage boundary layer refinement control factor. For an accurate CFD analysis, a mesh may need to be refined. This is easily done in TurboGrid using the global size factor. As you can see, raising the global size factor allows me to quickly refine all components of my mesh. Now, I'll look at the boundary layer on the splitter. I can adjust this independently by changing the boundary layer refinement control factor base. This concludes this demonstration on how TurboGrid can be used to mesh a turbofan that has a meridional splitter.